Hello everyone, I'm Rodney from 3dgameman.com and today I'm looking at the Thermal Tank Tough Power DPSG 850 watt power supply. It comes in this awesome box, very colorful, lots of pictures as well as features and specifications about the product. Also, they have it plastic wrapped. Now let's take this off and see what's inside. Included is a user's manual as well as warranty information, a pouch, and in it, they include the power cord as well as a USB cable and all of the flat flexible modular leads and the power supply itself is in this very tough styrofoam as well as being wrapped in this pretty cool fabric. Oh, and included as well are four plastic cable ties, two rubber bumpers. These go up against the case to prevent vibrations and four black regular screws. Now this is not an old school power supply, but rather a digital power supply. And the DPSG line comes in six different wattages, 450, 550, 650, 750, 850, and 1050. Now the main focus with these power supplies really is, you know, enthusiasts, someone who wants just an outstanding power supply, looks brilliant, but still delivers in the performance department. Now, with this particular power supply, well, it comes with software so you can control it and monitor it. And I'll have more on this software a little bit later on. But first, let's quickly go through how this wattage is determined. And to do so, we'll need to talk about rails. The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards, and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU, video cards, etc. It's also important to know the peak amps on each rail. Now, in this particular case, the plus 3.3 volt and the plus 5 volt rails are 25 amps each and it has a single plus 12 volt rail which is 70.83 amps. Now whatever you do, don't cheap out on a power supply because it is one of the very most important parts of your computer system. Now there are a number of important things to remember when selecting a power supply and the first is wattage. You need to determine how much wattage you require for your particular build. Now generally speaking, a medium to high end gaming rig would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply. For a hardcore system, select a power supply that's around 800 watts. If however, you are building an extreme gaming rig with a top of the line multiple video card setup with lots of other hardware select a power supply that's 1000 watts or greater second it should be at or above 80 percent efficiency and this power supply's efficiency is up to 92 percent third it should meet the latest atx and other current standards environmental directives over voltage under voltage and other protections this power supply meets all current standards fourth i'd recommend choosing a power supply that has apfc apfc or active power factor correction assist the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Thankfully, this power supply has APFC. Fifth, there are three main certifications, AD+, NVIDIA SLI, and AMD Crossfire. Now, many of today's high-end power supplies meet one or more of these certifications, and this power supply is NVIDIA SLI certified and meets the AD+, gold standard. Plus, it is optimized to work with Intel's new fourth generation Haswell processors to achieve maximum energy savings. Sixth, look for a power supply that uses Japanese capacitors because this ensures a much more reliable product than a power supply with low grade capacitors. And this power supply has 100%, 105 degrees Celsius, Japanese electrolytic capacitors. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Also consider a power supply that has a modular design like this one because it reduces the cable mess inside of the case. Also extremely important to get a power supply with an excellent warranty. And this one comes with a very impressive seven year warranty. Now this is one of the very best looking power supplies that I have ever reviewed. It has rounded corners. It is mostly black. It's got this red throughout it. Also a gold fan grill. Super sharp. Note their thermal take logo on the grill. They include a very quiet ball bearing 140 millimeter fan and there's lots of ventilation. Here's the power cable connection and the power switch. Now this power supply is completely modular. I personally prefer modular power supplies because well, you only need to use the leads required. You don't have any extra ones kicking around inside of the case. It looks bad when there's a mess of cables, plus it hinders airflow. Now take a closer look at these flat flexible modular leads 
They are fantastic. I love these because you can route them just about anywhere and tuck them away, even sometimes underneath the motherboard. Note as well where they get connected into the power supply, they are labeled so it takes the guesswork out of it. Now this is the software that I spoke of earlier in the review and it shows you all kinds of information about the power supply and you can even adjust some things. First of all, these are the rails. 5 volt, 3.3 volt, and 12 volt rails showing you the information about them. Shows you the amps, the voltage. And by the way, on the left here, you can see it over a time scale and up to 30 minutes and beyond, of course, beyond that. But you can see if it fluctuates. It's just a quick visual indication as to what is going on. You can see the efficiency, again, over time, the watts, again over time. Now I do not have this connected into my test system right now. This is just to show you the software. The cost based upon kilowatt hour which you can change. The temperature which you can change from Fahrenheit to Celsius. The fan speed which you can change from a silent to a performance mode. If I click on performance mode and click done the power supplies fan should increase and yes it does in fact and now I'm back to rails again. So these are the number of things that you can monitor and change. And this is home. This is what you'll see first of all. Now within settings you can change the language. You can clear the electricity cost. You can uh, clean up your user account information. Support is the user's manual and also software update. Now it will show you the recordings that it's done. And when you click on one of these, it will then show you more information about that. So that's pretty neat. You can also choose to share the information. And about is just about this particular application and, you know, going to their website. But pretty neat software. It's very cool to have a power supply with this because for, if nothing more, than just to see the efficiency, the watts that you are using, and, you know, the cost. What is it costing you to run your computer system? And if you had a number of these power supplies all over your home, well, you really could get an idea, you know, how much it's costing. And maybe you might want to consider shutting down your computers at night to save a little bit more money over the year. Finally, have a listen to the 140 millimeter fan. It's really a breath of fresh air to see innovation in power supplies. This one is digital. You can control it and monitor it. Very, very cool. I love the looks on it. Rounded corners. It is completely modular and comes with clean quality power plus a seven year warranty. And remember, you've got so many wattages to decide from. Overall, without a doubt, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.